Here are the top 10 richest country in Asia for the year 2024. This ranking was based on GDP per capita by purchasing power parity. The data we use in this video was taken from the latest report of International Monetary Fund. Starting off at number 10, we have Japan with a GDP per capita of $54,180 and a population of 123.9 million. Japan's economic success was attributed to a combination of factors including technological innovation, skilled workforce, strong export orientation, stable political environment, advanced infrastructure, and global economic integration. Japan's manufacturing sector is world-class, known for its efficiency, quality, and precision. The Made in Japan label is synonymous with reliability and innovation, contributing to the country's export-driven economy. Moving on to number 9, we have Cyprus. Surprisingly, this small island nation boasts a GDP per capita of $58,730 with a population of 923000 Cyprus' economy is characterized by a strong emphasis on services, particularly financial services and tourism, strategic location, natural resources, EU membership, political stability, human capital development, infrastructure, and foreign investment. The country has developed a robust financial services sector, including banking, insurance, and tourism related services. It serves as an international financial center, attracting foreign investment and businesses seeking favorable tax regimes, a stable regulatory environment, and access to the European market. Next up, at number 8, we have South Korea. Known for its technological prowess, South Korea's GDP per capita stands at $59,330, with a population of 52 million. South Korea has built its economy and exports, particularly in industries such as electronics, automobiles, shipbuilding, and petrochemicals. Leading companies like Samsung, Hyundai, and LJ have become global giants, driving export growth and contributing significantly to the country's GDP. Coming in at number 7, we have Bahrain, with a GDP per capita of $60,715 and a population of 1.5 million. This tiny kingdom is making big waves in the economic world. Bahrain's economy is characterized by diversification, a strong financial services sector, oil and gas resources, strategic location, free market policies, infrastructure development, tourism, political stability, a skilled workforce, and regional cooperation. These factors collectively contribute to Bahrain's status as one of the richest countries in Asia by GDP per capita and its continued economic prosperity. At number 6, we have Saudi Arabia. With its vast oil reserves, Saudi Arabia boasts a GDP per capita of $17,330. With a population of 32.5 million, Saudi Arabia possesses the world's largest proven oil reserves, making it a dominant player in the global oil market. The country's petroleum industry generates significant revenue through oil exports, contributing to its high GDP per capita. In addition, 
The country is a major producer of petrochemical products such as plastics, fertilizers, and chemicals, adding value to its hydrocarbon resources. Moving on to number 5, we have Taiwan. With a GDP per capita of $72,480 and a population of 24 million, Taiwan continues to be a beacon of prosperity in East Asia. Taiwan is renowned for its high-tech manufacturing industry, particularly in the semiconductor electronics and information technology sectors. Companies like TSMC, Foxconn, and Asus are global leaders in their respective fields, contributing significantly to Taiwan's economic growth and export earnings. Now, at number 4, we have Brunei. With a GDP per capita of $73,600 and a population of 455,800, the small but wealthy nation is certainly one to watch. Brunei possesses abundant oil and natural gas reserves, which have been the cornerstone of its economy for decades. The oil and gas sector accounts for a significant portion of Brunei's GDP, government revenue and export earnings, and also Brunei imposes minimal taxes on its citizens and residents. This favorable tax regime attracts foreign investments, encourages business activity, and fosters economic growth. Breaking into the top three. We have the United Arab Emirates. With a GDP per capita of $92,950 and a population of 9.3 million, UAE's economic success is truly remarkable. This nation has a significant oil reserves, particularly in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, which has historically been the main driver of the country's economy. Oil exports have generated substantial revenue, contributing to the UAE's wealth and prosperity. In recent decades, UAE has developed a vibrant tourism and hospitality industry, with attractions such as luxury hotels, shopping malls, entertainment complexes, cultural sites, and theme parks. Dubai, in particular, is a popular tourist destination known for its iconic landmarks and world-class amenities. At number 2, we have Qatar. With a staggering GDP per capita of $114,210 and a population of 2.8 million, Qatar possesses the world's third largest proven natural gas reserves, which have been a significant driver of its economy. The country's natural gas exports, particularly liquefied natural gas, generate substantial revenue and contribute to its wealth. Qatar's energy sector, spare headed by the state owned Qatar Petroleum, plays a pivotal role in the country's economy. And finally, claiming the number one spot, we have Singapore. With a jaw-dropping GDP per capita of $133,730 and a population of 5.9 million, the city-state located at the crossroads of Southeast Asia is renowned for its highly developed and prosperous economy. Factors such as strategic location open and trade-driven model, diversified sectors, government policies, financial services hub, technology and innovation focus, skilled workforce, infrastructure development, political stability, and strategic economic policies contribute to Singapore's status as one of the richest countries in the world by GDP per capita 
and its continued economic success on the global stage. And there you have it, the top 10 richest countries in Asia for 2024, based on GDP per capita by purchasing power parity. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. See you in my next video.